Hello everyone, my name is Tukin. I'll start off by saying this, I am not a fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise. It's not that I don't like it, I just literally haven't sat down and watched one in full. Nevertheless, I was actually really intrigued by Hobbs and Shaw. Now, I do know some things about the Fast and Furious franchise. They have corny dialogue, they have cars, and they're about family. Hobbs and Shaw doesn't fail to present any of that. The Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw stars Dwayne Johnson, Jason Statham, Vanessa Kirby, and Idris Elba. The Rock and Statham reprise their roles from prior Fast and Furious ventures as Luke Hobbs and Deckard Shaw respectively. Vanessa Kirby plays a new character, Shaw's sister, Hattie Shaw, leading towards the whole family aspect of the movie. And Idris Elba plays Brixton Lore, the antagonist of the movie and a self-proclaimed black Superman. So let's talk about some of the more specific aspects of the movie. Hobbs and Shaw is straightforward, a race to get a deadly virus, a race to save the world spanning over many countries. It's it's an alright plot with some alright execution. There are a lot of situations that feel too contrived and unexplained. And while I'm not sure if aspects of this movie, such as Etion, the shadowy group talked about throughout all of it, are in other Fast and Furious films, it does seem a little sudden. As someone who hasn't seen many Fast and Furious movies, I enjoyed it. I don't know if it's something similar to what they do in every movie, they introduce a new villain. That could be the case. But for what this is, I thought it was alright. Elba's Brixton is a good villain. Ironically, the whole movie ends up being a better superhero movie than Captain Marvel was. It's a very comedic movie. The choreography is often comedic, but fairly well done, but car scenes are standout, although some of them do feel like commercials. All of it looks good though, which is to be expected of since the director is David Leitch, who directed John Wick, Atomic Blonde, and Deadpool 2. Considering the story is about an apocalyptic virus, it does a half good job, but the stakes never feel too high considering this is the Fast and the Furious universe. The first spinoff isn't going to kill the universe. Now that can be said of any movie, and it's a rather nitpicky thing. The third act also falls apart in my opinion partly because the stakes, you know, you start to realize they aren't really all that much. Not a whole lot makes sense, such as it going through night to day in about eight shots, but there's, outside of that, it's fairly alright. The fight sequences in it are what make it cool, and I guess that's the trade-off. The Rock is good, that's to be expected. Statham is over the top, but in a good way. Also, to be expected. Vanessa Kirby is enjoyable to watch, but her performance in Mission Impossible Fallout was stronger in my opinion. Idris Elba, as expected, great. Naiza Gonzalez has a short role, also good. Ryan Reynolds also makes an appearance, but he's basically just playing PG-13 Deadpool, except he's FBI. Nothing in particular really stood out about anyone in Hobbs and Shaw, nothing was bad either, I'd say, but it all came off as either very jokey or average. It's not going to drag you out of it, but you're not going to be walking out of the theater thinking, God damn, that was a great performance, wasn't it? It's a good cast and enjoyable, but not too impressive. Hobbs and Shaw takes itself just the right amount of serious. My understanding was that the Fast and the Furious franchise itself is more serious than this, but that's not that important to this, other than me letting you know this movie is an action comedy more than it is an action drama. If you're a fan of movies like this that are fast, big, explosive, and funny, Hobbs and Shaw is going to be a good pick to see. I don't think you'll be disappointed, but it's not like it'll win an Oscar or anything close to that. It's just a fun, fast movie. I give Hobbs and Shaw a 6. It could have been a lot of stuff done to make things better, but it's not bad by any stretch. It's just as good a movie as they intended it. Fun was more of a focus. And as part of my new Patreon tier, you can have me read a message for you at the end of a video each month. This video's message is from Matt Porter. I'm often asked, would I rather be fast or furious? I always respond neither, because Paul Walker is dead and that shit still makes me cry almost every day, man. If you'd like to have your message read on a video, you can go visit my Patreon and support me there. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, what you thought of Hobbs and Shaw if you've seen it, and if you saw it after this, come back here and let me know what you thought. If you also have a suggestion for a video you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more like it in the future. Check out my Twitch channel if you want to see my streams. I stream there nearly every day. And I'm starting a new thing where Monday and Friday I'll be doing Jackbox community games. You can also join my Discord or check out my Letterboxd account to see all my ratings. And if you'd like to help support me making more videos like this, you can visit my Patreon as I just said, or my merch store. The links for that and everything else you'd need are in the description below. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Huge thank you to Patreon supporters Anonymous and Matt Porter. I really appreciate it.